Yo, 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 what's good all my trader and investor homies? It's your boy Kevin and this is Touchdown Trades. I'm your trading BFF, your stock market bestie. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorite broker, the broker that I believe is the best broker out there for not only day trading, but swing trading and long-term investing. Now, a broker is not gonna make you profitable, right? Let's use this analogy. You give a guy the best fishing pole, the best reel, the best everything, the best bait, you tell him to go to a good location. Instead of casting into the ocean, he casts behind him into the grass. That guy's not gonna catch any fish, right? It's the same thing with a broker. If you don't know what you're doing, you can have the best broker and you just buy at all time highs and then when it drops a little bit you freak out and sell you're not going to make money in the stock market investing trading none of that you're not going to make any money right so a broker doesn't make the investor but a broker can help an investor who knows what he's doing be more efficient so in today's video we're going to talk about my personal favorite broker. I love this broker. They offer zero commission trading. They offer a great desktop platform. They also offer all the tools you need to be successful investing in the stock market, scanners, all that type of stuff. So we're going to go over the broker. Who is the broker? We'll go over the platform. I'll show you the desktop platform, how I personally use it. We'll go over the charts, the scanners, all that stuff in today's video. So stay tuned. And as always, let's secure that bag by making sound investments and in smart trades. Let's get it. All right, trader and investor homies, let's talk about my favorite broker for not only day trading, swing trading, but for long-term investing as well. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about my broker and compare it to some of the more popular brokers and talk about why I prefer this broker. And this broker is Weeble, you guessed it, Weeble. And I do wanna be completely transparent. I am partnered with Weeble. If you wanna use my code after the video, there's a link in the description. You can get three free stocks valued up to $1,600 when you use my link and deposit $100. And now, yeah, some people are gonna say, oh, you're just partnered with Weeble. That's why you say they're the best broker. And no, that's not at all true. I had the option to partner with several other brokers. I could have used Robinhood as an affiliate link. I could have used Interactive Brokers, TD Ameritrade, but I chose Webull and here's why. The desktop platform is just flat out awesome, okay? So if you wanna go with Robinhood, in order to, they don't even offer a desktop platform, first of all. They do have an online platform that's web-based, but in order to get access to that online platform, you have to do the gold program and they charge you a monthly fee. This desktop platform on Webull is absolutely free. They don't charge any commissions. Typically, brokers nowadays aren't charging commissions. Some still do. TD Ameritrade charges commissions for options trading. Webull doesn't. But back on the Robinhood, if you want to get margin, margin trading with Robinhood, you have to pay for it with the gold subscription. They're going to charge you a monthly fee. With Webull, you want to use margin free. Sure, they're gonna charge you interest on that margin, but every single broker does. Robinhood's gonna charge you interest, and then they're gonna charge you a monthly subscription to be with the gold platform as well. So this Webull platform is not only better than Robinhood, it's free, it's more intuitive, you have more options. If you wanna day trade with Robinhood, you just can't do it. If you wanna day trade with Webull, you can do that. I'll talk, about, I'll talk about that in more detail in a second when I go over the platform. But just to talk about why I prefer Webull, they have an extensive short list. They have short locates if you're a short seller. They have awesome tools for not only day traders, but swing traders and long-term investors. It is a great broker. Let's take a look at the platform and I'll talk about why this platform is so good. All right, right now I am on the day trading, active trading window of the broker, of the desktop platform. If you wanna to get to this, you just go to this toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen, you click customize, and then you have a whole bunch of different options, okay? You have a blank layout, which I have set up to where this is how I like to have my screen set up. I have a chart, I have a news feed, I have an order entry window, and then I have my positions up here and my orders. So if I wanna cancel an order, I can get out of that order. So 
this is just how I personally like to set up my platform. But if you wanted to set it up, you can customize it to however you wanted to set it up. They do have an active trader, trader window where you have these hot buttons over here, basically like a hotkey, and you can set that up to get in and get out of positions fast. So you could set it up with buy at the bid, buy at the ask, sell at the bid, sell at the ask, sell market, buy market. You can have a cancel your order button, cancel all quantity to change the quantities quick. It's very fast, very intuitive. You can have the chart set up. I have a couple different monitors. So what I like to do is I like to put charts on the monitors above me. And then I like to put an order entry window down here on my screen with my positions and my order entry. So that's just how I like to set it up. They also also offer level two if you're into that type of thing. But for your just longer term investors, you're probably just gonna be looking for something like I like to do. I like to have charts on a separate tab where I do my research, I do my technical analysis. I'll have a news feed on a separate tab where I can look for news and then I'll have scanners set up separately as well. If I see something I like, I wanna enter a position, I go back to this window over here and then I put my order in. So you wanna add, buy 100 shares of Hylion at the bid, we could go to the bid. Right now I think the bid is $20.60. So we would put 2060 and then you'd be good to go. You hit place order and then you're in the position. So it's a very intuitive platform. With Robinhood, I know I'm making a lot of comparisons to Robinhood, but those are the two big brokers that people are using when they're just getting involved with the market. Robinhood, and there's nothing wrong with Robinhood. I don't wanna come off like I'm bashing Robinhood, I'm not but Robinhood is a popular broker. But there's been a lot of talk. Robinhood has no phone number to call for customer service. If you have an issue, you have a margin call and you wanna call and see what the deal is, you can't get in touch with Robinhood. You have to send them an email and then who knows whether you're gonna get in contact with them. There's been a lot of talk about Robinhood issuing margin calls for people trading on margin and they have no idea why. They can't get in touch with them you'll see a message on your account saying you owe Robinhood a ton of money, then you can't even get in contact with them, you have to email, and then you gotta try to go to sleep at night thinking you owe Robinhood $30,000, it's not a good feeling, right? With Webull, you have a phone number to call their great customer service hotline. Furthermore, you don't have to pay for the platform, you get a great desktop platform, you also get an app on your phone. So not only do they have the desktop platform, they match Robinhood with the app, it's a great intuitive app. I'm really down with the app. You're driving around, you wanna check your positions, you can pull up the app, you wanna get out of a position or enter a position, you can use the app as well. And now I'll make a comparison to another big broker that's popular in today. I'll make a comparison to another broker that's very popular and that's TD Ameritrade. I think the platforms are about the same, right? I think you can do the same things with both platforms that are very similar. The difference is TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim is so glitchy. If you use Thinkorswim right now, you know how glitchy Thinkorswim has been. I used to be a big Thinkorswim user. I used it for my charts for many, many years. But the problem with it is once they merge with Charles Schwab, in my opinion, the platform crashes at least once a day. And I just can't have that. I do this full time. I can't be having my crap. I can't be logging on at nine o'clock in the morning and then the platform takes 45 minutes to load. It just doesn't work for me. Webull has not crashed one time in the three months that I've been using them. So I have had no issues with crashing and I just really love the platform. They have a very intuitive scanner and screener. If you're looking to enter a trade, you wanna find a nice trade, they have a stock scanner, a stock screener, and you can set the filters however you wanna set them. For example, I have a filter set up to look for stocks that are up 10 to 100% on the day. We can see this DSS is up huge on the day. It's up 68% with huge volume. You can see the volume, they traded over 100, 120 million shares. So if we go back here and we type in DSS, we can see what's going on with that. We can see that it made a massive move today. If we pull up the, let's look at a 15 minute chart. We can see that yesterday it was trading at under $4 and today it hit highs of $7.60. So it made a huge move and it's easy to find these stocks with the Webull scanner. 
All right, let's take a look at the blank layout and I'll show you how easy it is to customize the layout however you want to customize it. So we can go up here and add a widget right here with this button up here. You can't really see it because the screen isn't showing, but you hit that button in the top right corner and then it brings up this window right here. You can see the window, I got pulled up and then you just add whatever you want to add, right? And you customize the windows however you want to, you want to chart, you can add a chart. You want to add the options chain, boom, there you got it. You got the options chain, you got order entry, several different order entry options. You got the typical order entry, you got the hot trade, the hot buttons where you can, it's basically like a hot key, right? You have your positions, your orders, your account info, your P&L, the level two price ladder. You want level two, boom, there you got it and also you have market widgets, just several different type of widgets, right? Very intuitive, so order flow, it's gonna show you how the order flow, the order distribution throughout the day. So there's a lot of different widgets that you can add to customize the layout how you want to customize it. And then it gets even better, you can go up here and sync all of the widgets, the windows together to make it stock specific. So if you hit Apple on this chart now, it's gonna pull up Apple on all these widgets. I think it goes up against the likes of TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim, and like I said, the problem with Thinkorswim is that it's been extremely glitchy. If you've ever used it, you know what I'm talking about. It used to be the best, and now it's just too slow, flat out too slow. You wanna add a drawing to the chart. You wanna add a trend line, very easy. You just right click, horizontal line, you go to where you want to add it, just click there, and then boom, you got that line, you can drag it wherever you want to put it, and it's the bars are magnet magnetic. So the candlesticks are magnetic, so you can get that nice dr crisp drawing on those support and resistance levels. They're gonna pull that line to those candlesticks and make it a nice tight, tight fit so you don't have to check the price, then enter the price. You wanna show extended trading hours, after hours, and pre-market on the chart. It's easy, you just right click, go to chart settings, and then you can click show extended trading hours, and then the highlighted segment of the chart is gonna be the pre-market or after hours portion of the chart. You wanna show your trades, you can sh click show your cost basis, that's gonna show your average price on the candlestick chart. Show op open orders, so you can actually cancel your orders from the chart, just click the X, it'll cancel the order. So the axis, you can show the last price, show your indicator values off of the chart. So the charts are A+, plus. the platform is A+, plus. customer service is A+, plus. and it gets even better because if you use the link in the description of this video, you get three stocks for free when you deposit 100 bucks, three stocks valued up to $1,600. So you're basically gonna make at least like 100% return on your investment without, make it, without even making your first investment, you just get that in free stocks. It's a really awesome deal, check it out if you're looking for a new broker, and if you're not, just take a look at Webull whenever you're ready, whenever you get sick and tired of Robinhood not having any cus customer service, check out Webull, I think it's a really great broker, but that's just me. You guys do your own research, I hope you got something from this video. If you did, do me a huge favor and hit that like button, tells YouTube that these videos do provide value and helps to promote my channel to other people, other like-minded stock market investors and traders. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.